स्टार्ट ऑफ फंक्शनिंग ऑफ सेक्स ऑर्गेन्स ऑर्गेन्स इज कॉल्ड प्यूबर्टी नाउ जेनरेशन different people different books may have different type of statements of define of defining this puberty but the concept is the start of functioning of sex organs the age at which our sex organs start functioning just i i told if in case of male the testis testis starts functioning to produce sperm and in female the ovary starts to produce ovum so this age is called puberty and of course 15 years and above so you can see here the adolescence as well as puberty both starts at the same time but what is the difference this is a biological change This is a biological change. Puberty, whereas adolescence is emotional, you can say mental change. Mental change. It is the age of Mental change, but it adolescence, my age, it is combined with thinking, emotions, feelings, and so on. So, adolescence is the change which regarded, which is combined to mental, emotional thinking. But puberty is the change which is related to our biological, that means our body, our body organs, our body parts, and so on. And so, on. so it has a vast area. And we will discuss each one by one. Now, at the age of fifteen, what happens? What are the changes which takes place in our body, which can be seen, which can be seen from outside, or which can be noticed? Are called puberty. So, let us start discussing one by one in males and in females. some changes may be common in both male and female and some may be different for example the first change is excessive or you can say active silasius and it is same in the in the case of female also in the case of case of do i am writing do so that this is okay same same what i have written here same thing active silasius black now what is silasius what is Silasius gland, the sweat glands, sweat glands, the glands which produces sweat, pusina, are called silasius gland, sweat glands. Sweat glands are called the silasius gland. Silasius gland means sweat gland. That means the glands which are responsible for the production of sweat, pusina. Now underarms, clear? Clear. Many parts are there in our body where earlier to 15 years, before 15 years, these sweats were, these glands were not so functional. These were not so functional. You may have sweat, but in case of excessive uh, physical exercise, but when you reach to the age of adolescence, now these sweat glands become very active and they 
start producing sweat in sufficient amount. So this is one change. Second is broadening. Broadening of chest, but that means the chest becomes broad. In case of boys, their chest they become chest becomes broad. The same way, the beast development of beast. The beast in the girls become developed. It increases in the size and becomes developed. Next is germination of beard, mustache, and pubic hairs. Pubic hairs. Females also do not know development of, however, they do not have beards and mustaches, but they have pubic ears. Now, what are these pubic, pubic hairs? Beard means this one, this beard. Mustache means this one. And this pubic hair. Pubic hairs are the under, uh, what do you call it? Under our Hairs, the hairs on our body which are always covered by clothes. They may be hair, they may be on the chest, and there are many other places where there are hairs on our body. So these hairs which are not being seen from outside are called the pubic hair. So these are the some characters, some features which takes place in our body at the time of time of puberty. These are the Secondary sex character. However, the primary sex characters were the production of sperm in male and ovum in the female. So, one, two, three. These are the secondary sex characters. You can say these are secondary sex characters. Secondary sex characters. There are many. There are many. There are many broadening of thighs, the position of muscles on arms, flattening of this uh, shoulder. Earlier when you are child, the shoulder is this way, sliding. But when you grow and become adult at the age of puberty, this becomes flat. That means this rises up. There are depositions the of muscles on the arm as well as on the thigh. In the same way in the, uh, uh, males, in the same way in the females, the hip, the girdle becomes broad. Also, uh, bordering on the deep muscle deposits on the thigh. Voice change. The voice changes. Earlier it was low pitch, now it becomes high pitch or the pitch changes of the voice. So there are several changes which can be categorized in the second, second sex character as well as primary character. Primary characters are my dear, the difference between primary sex characters and secondary sex characters is primary sex character means direct to the testis and the ovary. The formation of sperm in male and formation of ovum in female are called primary sex characters and rest other which can be seen outside. All these much more even which I told you are all secondary sex character. Clear? Now this that's all for today's class. In the next class, we will go further. Till then, read the book and watch the video again and again. And of course, don't forget to like and subscribe the channel. Thank you.